Hey guys, it's Zach here, and I've got an unboxing today in a bag, which I'm not really sure what this is because the address kind of shocked me because I don't know where that is, but let's go ahead and open it. Very dirty bag. Very, very dirty bag. Wow, what's this? Hmm. Command arms, accessories. We are back in command. Upgrade your weapon. Wow, this is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. Look at that. I like stuff like that. That's really cool. So what's in here? And it is for my Galil. Nice. Probably order more from this store just because they did that. It's pretty cool to have that stuff. Back in command. Came with the hex. Made by TIE Arms? TDI Arms? I think so. TDI Arms. As on the other side, made in Israel. Move that sticker off. Um, yeah, this is the cheek rest for the Galil. Nice. Let's put it on there right now and see what it looks like. I actually found out I can just keep the battery in there. You just have to open this pretty easily, put it, and make it uh, slide up as much as possible. You can get it though. Okay, so let's put this thing on the back. And I believe I believe it goes this way. There's no picture, but you know what? Maybe it's in the magazine. Stuff in here. Really cool stuff in here. Wow. Look at these rails. That is pretty awesome for your G36 right here. You can make it look really cool. We get it look really cool if you get one of these G36 rails and then put a silencer on it. Oh, it looks nice. This is nice. Here is the stock, so maybe it should be right here somewhere. Hmm, that's interesting. I've never seen that. They had a magazine on the end of the stock. So easy accessible is kind of strange. I've never seen that before though. Um, I thought I might see it in here. Yes it is. Goes this way. So let's open that up real quick. And where'd the heck screw go? Just likes to hide from me. Well, that fits pretty perfect. It's all solid contact. Wow, 
See how thick. This is supposed to be polymer. Nicely screwed. Um, one thing I like to note, especially about the way they drill holes on this, usually when people make things, they drill this hole really close to the end right here. And that causes this to crack or uh, break real close to that hole and then you've got a problem. Um, I like when they dig the hole way more towards the center so that there's more width here, which you can tell there is. Um, so it looks nice. <clears throat> so put it on real quick. Here's my uh, Galil with the stock cheek piece in a in the position between the uh, there was a little uh, metal rod that connected the stock together right there and I screwed in between it with it positioned there it makes my uh, eye closer to the scope move the scope back just a little bit and it looks perfect got just about the right amount when folding the stock it fits almost perfect um, the only thing is, is when it's in safety When it's in safety, the way the stock folds, it touches this. So to give my example, so as you can see there, um, however you do have access to move it a little bit. And it barely touches it, like it's almost perfect. I would say it's close enough to just say it's perfect because um, even if it's here it won't touch it it's only once in the safety that it barely touches the uh, stock right here but doesn't seem to have anything there other than that how do you guys think the Galil is coming pretty good still missing one piece so I'm just waiting on that and uh, then we'll be able to show this thing off I'll catch you guys later out with the fist.